Well, guys, today's a big day. It's been quite some time since I've been able to come on here and confidently announce that I have found a new internet chef that is able to live up to the level of incompetence that we have grown accustomed to. But here we are. Given what I do for a living, it's a pretty rare occurrence that I see anything cooking related on the internet that actually manages to shake me to my very core. But it's always a good day when it happens. The other day, somebody tweeted at me to check out a TikTok account named Top Housewife. And once I did, I knew the game was about to change forever. Now look, I feel like there's a pretty high percentage chance that this TikTok account is just a joke. Everything is way, way too on the nose, but there are a couple things that throw me off just enough to think maybe, just maybe, this could be real. This account presents itself as like a video journal archive for a woman who films what she makes for her husband while he's at work. And the meals that this woman makes for her poor husband are, uh, are kind of hard to explain with words. It's one of those things that you're just gonna have to see, okay? So let's not waste any more time. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Alrighty, so this is the first video that I saw once I journeyed on to Top Housewife's TikTok page. And right off the bat, it's, uh, it's not looking good. First of all, deep frying pizza has got to be a federal offense. I don't know how you would go about charging somebody for this, but I know it's illegal. My gut just tells me. If you're sensitive to watching things being deep fried, this is going to be a really rough video for you, by the way. Thought I should give you a heads up. The amount of salt this person puts into their dishes. You'd think a government that cares about its citizens would classify this as attempted murder because eating this much salt in your meals every single day, yeah, you're gonna die. Yeah, be sure to scoop up every last ounce of that weak old contaminated oil. You wouldn't want to lose out on any flavor. The amount of oil that's been transferred onto this plate looks like what you would clean out of a pan after you fry some bacon. Either this person is willing to waste thousands of dollars of food for TikTok content, or they're trying to force a premature death on their husband. Oh, thank goodness. For a second there, I thought you were going to leave this unsalted. Everybody knows that the salt you use while you're cooking doesn't actually count. Adding the mayo racha, at least for me, did put this over the edge to where now I want to vomit thinking about eating this. I was basically already there thinking about how these fries would feel and taste eating them covered in weak old oil that a pizza and who knows what else was already fried in. But yeah, what this dish really needed to tie it all together is a dense egg-based sauce. Yummy. This person is single-handedly keeping the salt business afloat. What I was talking about in the beginning, saying that there are things that make me think this could be real, the main one is that there are two to three uploads a day on this TikTok page, which would mean not only is this person going out and buying three meals worth of food every single day for a satirical TikTok account, but they're also having to buy like a gallon of salt once a week. This would be a pretty expensive endeavor if you weren't actually actually eating this stuff. I know we've seen a lot of these pages in the past where they're obviously fake, that people aren't actually eating what they're making, but they're uploading like once a week. To upload for every single meal every single day, it makes me think that there's a chance some poor guy is actually being fed this. Thank you. 
I don't know why the amount of oil in these videos is making me feel so sick, but it's really not doing me any favors here just thinking about eating this amount of oil, not to mention the force at which this pan is being scraped. When they're performing the autopsy on this guy when he dies from a heart attack at age 28, they're going to find that he was 46% Teflon. Oh my god! Oh my god, I can't even look at that. Was a body dissolved in this oil? Does this person have mob ties or something? Do they need to make sure somebody was never found? Oh my god. How do you even get a pan to look like that? Is Marguerite Baker behind the camera? My goodness. Oh my god, why are you basting it with the bog water? What are you doing? This video is actually gonna make me throw up. This pan is nearly empty, and this person is using a slotted spoon, which means that all of that radioactive waste that was floating around in the oil at the beginning of the video has now become one with the toad in the hole. I think eating this would actually kill you. I'm not joking. Um, hold on a moment. Let me wipe out my eyes real quick. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Is that a can of burgers? No, no, no. Let me ask one more time. Is that a can of burgers? I mean, I, I, where did the top go? Did you pry it off with your teeth? I'm kind of at a loss for words. Mankind was never meant to see this kind of imagery. Okay, so I was kind of thrown off by there being an entire onion in the pan here. So I looked up what a flying Dutchman burger is. And apparently, it's something they sell at In-N-Out. I've only been to In-N-Out like twice in my life, so forgive my ignorance. But it's a burger where the patties are onions. Which, I love onions. I'll eat onions on literally anything. But that doesn't really sound that good to me. That just seems like it would taste like nothing but onions and would also be kind of annoying to eat. Okay, so obviously the competition is pretty low here, but if you can ignore the fact that these are patties that come out of a can, I think this might be the least offensive thing made so far. Sure, there's still about 10 times the amount of oil there should be, and, you know, heart-stopping levels of salt, but if you like the Flying Dutchman Burger, and you hadn't eaten in, like, 11 days, you might be able to stomach this one. Well, guys, what do you think? What does your gut tell you? Is this all just an elaborate satirical joke by somebody who has way too much money and and has way too little care about wasting food? Or does some poor guy out there shed blood, sweat, and tears every single day at work only to come home to these monstrosities? If this account didn't upload multiple times a day every single day, I think I would instantly think it's fake. But either somebody out there is really dedicated to this joke, or unfortunately, this is real. I don't know which one would be worse. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.